Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on InDesign justification in the Paragraph Styles window. In this tutorial, we will learn how to change the justification settings for a Paragraph Style and we will also look at some tips for using justification in InDesign. Justification the first thing that we need to do is open the Paragraph Styles window. To do this, go to Window, Styles, Paragraph Styles. Shortcut key is F11. Select the Paragraph Style that you want to change. Once the Paragraph Style window is open, you need to select the Paragraph Style that you want to change the justification settings for. To do this, click on Paragraph Style name in the list. Change the justification settings. In the justification section of the paragraph styles window, you can make the following changes. Minimum. This is the minimum amount of word spacing that will be used, even if it means that some words will be hyphenated. The default value is 80%, which means that InDesign will not hyphenate the words until the word spacing is less than 80%. You can increase the value to prevent the words from being hyphenated or decrease it to allow more hyphenation. By the way, if you want to learn about hyphenation, the tutorial link is in the description. If you want to prevent reverse from appearing in the text, you would set the minimum value to a high number, such as 100%. Desired. This is the default word spacing that will be used to justify the text. The default value is 100%. This means that no additional space will be added between words. You can increase this value to add more spaces between words or decrease it to add less space. If you want the text to be as justified as possible, you would set the desired value to a higher number, such as 150%. Maximum. This is the maximum amount of word spacing that will be used even if it means that some letters will be spaced out too much. The default value is 133%, which means InDesign will not add more than 33% of the space between words than the default word spacing. You can increase this value to allow more space between words or decrease it to prevent the text from looking too spread out. If you want the text to have a lot of white spaces, you would set the maximum value to a high number, such as 200%. Glyph scaling. This option allows you to adjust the spacing between glyphs in order to improve the justification of the text. Once you have made your changes, click OK to apply them. Tips for using justification in InDesign Use the hyphenation settings to prevent the reverse that are long gaps of white spaces between words from appearing in the justified text. Number 2. Use the glyph scaling option sparingly as it can make the text look distorted. Number 3. If you are using a narrow column width, you may need to increase the minimum word spacing in order to prevent the text from looking too cramped. Number 4. If you are using a wide column width, you may need to decrease the maximum word spacing in order to prevent the text from looking too spread out. Examples of how justification can be used in InDesign To create a formal document, you might use a justified alignment with a narrow column width and a small amount of word spacing. Number 2. To create a more casual document, you might need to use a justified alignment with a wider column width and a large amount of word spacing. Number 3. To create a document with a lot of white space, you might use a justified alignment with a very wide column width and a large amount of word spacing. That's it for this tutorial on InDesign justification in the Paragraph Styles window. I hope you found this tutorial helpful enough to understand everything about justification. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends.
If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.